Hello guys, today I want to quickly present one of the new features in the latest Laravel 9 version, not Laravel 10, Laravel 9, one of the latest ones by Iman, who submitted this one, increment columns, which was later renamed by Taylor to increment each. For example, you have a database table and you want to increment or decrement a few columns at once. Before this pull request, there was no way to do that in one query in Query Builder. So let's take a look how it works. This example works with DB table, but actually it can be also eloquent model. So in my Tinkerwell, I have example prepared. Let's say we have a product and we need to increment a few columns in store, in stock, and then total. In the database, we have this table. So let's say it's an iPhone with 10 plus 20 equals 30. And first, actually, before running that, let's see if you knew about increments at all. So what if you want to increment the total, how would you do that? Update and then total equals total. That wouldn't work, that would throw an error. So there's a method in Eloquent called increment. Increment, and then you specify the field, and then increment by what? So 10 or minus 10 or something like that. So let's try it out first. Let's run in the Tinkerwell, and as you can see, the result is total. 40. Let's get it back in the database to 30 so it would be consistent. So increment worked since ages, so it's not new, but increment each is new. So let's comment that one out and comment this one and let's run that one. So plus 10, plus 5, and plus 15 to this. So this new feature allows you to increment a few fields at once. And so you would understand what query is under the hood. I specifically enabled Spotty Laravel Ray for queries. In fact, I'm thinking I will use quite a lot of those two tools combined in my videos, Tinkerwell and Spotty Laravel Ray. I'm not affiliated in any way. And those both are not free tools, but for demo projects, it's awesome for me to use those. So in Laravel Ray, it's a desktop application which would show queries. So if we run that again, it would show that it runs the products first, and then this is the actual query. Update products, set all those three, and updated at. Updated at is important here. So why don't I do something like this? The thing here is that it's query builder query, not eloquent, which means it would not fire eloquent things like updated at or accessors, mutators, or events, or stuff like that. So if we run that now, remember this is the updated at value, 840. If we run that again, as you can see, that 840 didn't change. So total did change, the whole operation went fine, but updated at didn't change. So if you want to use that one, specifically you need to have updated at as a second parameter. And also there's decrement each, so if we uncomment that out and run that, oh, Tinkerwell returns the query builder. So let's do that again and let's return the product because Tinkerwell shows the latest result and this is the actual result. So yeah, just a quick demo of new features in Laravel 9.49, I think it was released, or 48. If you want more news about new features, of course, subscribe to this channel because I keep informing you about new releases as they come up. And also you can subscribe at laravel.daily.com. There's a newsletter on top, which will lead you to MailChimp form. And you can subscribe to a newsletter with links and news, which I send every Thursday to more than 6,000 subscribers at the moment. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.